session he is mainly concentrating on the how to use data analytics visual and especially visual analytics on iot data okay so we are going to be discuss that one and there are many different data visualization tool in this session we are exploring the tableau as a one of the data visualization tool which can be used to process the data and give the insights of the data visually and we are going to be get some inference so those things only we are going to be see in detail about that okay so first before going to discuss the table and all the things and iot visual iot data visualization is in the table we need to understand what is meant by data visualization see there is a one book good book now you see it the author is the stephen stephen few he written that book for data visualization if you have any doubt regarding the data visualization you can refer that one i am just saying that this book is very good and the founder i can say that god of this visualization god of the data visualization is edward tufte edward tufte edward e tufte he is the person he started giving the visualization okay so he, that's why he becomes the god of the data visualization so now we will see see here there is a one app www.windy.com even you can able to open this one in the url i will going to be share that able to see my screen yes sir so i have given www.windy.com then i am able to see this take it is just loading because i am executing many applications it will take some time so this is the thing it is going to be give the clear picture so what is the temperature we are at chennai i am at chennai sorry i am at chennai so what is the temperature and these directions so he is talking about that wind okay so directions and uh, uh, see here in the right most left corner you are able to see some menu if you are clicking the cloud so what is the cloud in the corresponding area in which direction the cloud is moving okay so visibility air quality okay so and uh, what is the air quality so what is the a no2 so how it is no2 and there are many layers ozone layer so this is the one beautiful website which is going to be give the clear information about the temperature wind movement and so all the information related to the weather so it's going to be give the clear information about the so if you have any doubt just to open this one and just try to do some uh, uh, what is the thing is to uh, to play around it uh, around it so to know the temperature so wind speed okay so directions and all the things so likewise we have one more we have one more we we'll come to the slide and then
likewise we have one more so that app is that uh, uh, another application related to that weather spark uh, weather so that is weather spark https weather spark this is also a another application which is going to be give the the weather information visually okay so you can see this one as well on the screen Yeah, so I have green weather spark.com. So now I am going to be click so location. The location is Chennai. So Chennai International Airport, Chennai. So this is the one important part. So nearby Chennai. So now you are able to get the information about the, the weather. Okay, in a location, Chennai. So this is the climate summary of the Chennai and here it is going to be discussed about the average high and the low temperature which is situated okay in the location Chennai this is the visualization so you can able to see and uh, this is the okay so January month so what is the highest and lowest February month what is the highest and lowest March month how what is the lowest and now we are at the October so now you can click in the October so you are able to get the so average uh, temperature so average high and low temperature okay so this is now we are at so that means 11th right so this is the 11th so this entire so month it's going to be okay so given in the so you are able to see that so now see here the temperature so this temperature so 12 am to 12 am so entire day so it was very high so very low uh, up to so six Okay, so AM up from here onwards, it's increasing. Now three o'clock, the temperature is, okay, so going down. So this is the one simple thing. And you are, even you are able to forecast the next day, next day temperature and all the things also. So this is October 12th temperature. What will be the temperature? They applied some of the machine learning algorithms like linear regression and all the things to predict what will be the temperature and all these results they are not discussing in terms of the numbers they are giving visually due to that we are able to know very clearly okay so this is the one simple example so how the visualization plays a major role how the visualization plays a major role uh, uh, to describe the results okay so there are many things they are discussing so those who are interested they can see that okay so likewise okay likewise will have many applications we use it to give the visualization of the result okay so next one is why we are using the visualization a picture what is more than a thousand words this is not my statement the editor test vendors has given that word so that's why in the many so i will tell you one more point very simple and easy point there are many movies are there movies are releasing in the theaters and ott platforms the entire description of that movie they are going to be put in terms of the picture they are not going to be write the entire story narrate the entire story on the uh, what is that paper and the, that poster they are not pasting outside so that means they are trying to grab or they are trying to attract the audience by seeing some pictures of the so that that's why a picture worth is more than thousand words okay a picture is, is worth more than a thousand numbers also so thousand numbers not only words is going to be represent the words okay numbers also a good sketch is better than the long that only we are going to be discuss in the today's session we are not going to be discussed much we are going to give some visualization that's it okay so these are the some okay so quotes has been given by the many of the so what did you understand from this picture what did you understand from this picture how do you analyze this picture what type of information you are going to be get from this picture very simple and very easy so this picture looks like okay 
So I will tell you the information about this picture. Looks like a spiral. Okay, it looks like a spiral. Okay, first point. Small spirals at the edges. See here, small spirals at the edges. Okay, and then it has a different shades. Red at outside and green at the inside. Different shades. Red at outside and green at the inside. Okay, so that is the information. The smaller spirals have the purple highlight. This purple highlight. Okay, and another one is the green is also have the different shades. See here, green shades has been changing. Okay, green shades are changing like that. Okay, and now. So now another one. Each small spiral is composed of even smaller ones. So this is one spiral. So again, it is composed with the small spirals. So that is also another observation. The spirals go clockwise. This is another inference, clockwise. Okay. So and inside the object, there are also a red highlights. Those have the different shadow shades of the red also. So reds. Okay, different. Okay. And another one is the green shades vary in a fan while the purple ones are more in unique color. Okay, unique color. Okay, green shades. Okay, so here some shades. Next one is the green shades vary in fan while the purple one are more in the unique color. The green shades get darker toward the outs of out of the fan. Darker, so out of the fan. So this is the fan, right? So outside is darker. So this type of this much information we are able to get by seeing one picture. So this is the one important point. So instead of writing this much paragraph, these many lines of the, okay, so text. So we can simply draw a one figure and then one picture and we will share to that. So end user is able to understand what he is able to get whatever the inference he wants. So this is the one simple point I want to say. See here, this is the another popular diagram. Okay, this is the oldest diagrams which has been given. What the so what will be the story from this figure? See here, this is the starting point. From here, so Napoleon started towards okay, so Moscow, Russia. Okay, and to do some fire the war in the during the war, and the this length of this, the width of this okay, color is talking about that brown color, brown color, width of this one is talking about the, the number of soldiers and they started moving towards this directions and so this is onward journey towards the russia and the return retreat so return so now from this figure what is the thing is initially how many people have started how many soldiers have started four lakh twenty two thousand soldiers have started and uh, after okay so the war how many people are returned approximately so ten thousand people are Soldiers has returned. This is the thing. And here there is one beauty. What is the thing is in the, the return retreat, the path. Okay, which path they used? Okay, so how they moved? All the information is talking about this graph. And in the return or retreat path, so is discussed with the temperature also. Is specified with the temperature also. At this point, the temperature is minus twenty one degrees. At this point, the temperature is minus 11. Okay, so if you are maximizing this one, you are able to see much. This is the temperature. Okay, at this point, what is the temperature? Minus 20 degrees. And the date also they mentioned, number 28. At this point, the temperature is minus 24 degrees and December 1. Okay, so that means from here to here, they traveled how much time has been taken, how many days has been taken. That information also we are able to get. And here, this kind of lines, this lines is used to indicate the reverse. Okay, these lines are easy to indicate the rivers. Okay, and this, okay, so this Kono, so Vilina, so Wild Bask, 
so all these things are talking about the uh, the places okay through the places they are okay they use these places to reach the moscow okay cities are some locations and this width is keep on decreasing see here initially like this okay so after this one 4 lakhs after that to be the like 33000 so 175000 so many people so that means it is keep on going so this is the one beauty of the okay so diagram this entire diagram is going to be give the information about that how much french army soldiers during the napoleon russian campaign so from 1812 to the 1813 so uh, how many has started how many has okay reached home so that entire information is going to be discussed over here the map and line chart showing the napoleon's retreat from the moscow okay so that is the one thing and here it's showing that napoleon's advance that means moving toward the moscow it is represented in the brown color and the subsequent retreat is represented in the black color the x and y coordinate shows the army's position over the time so that means this is the okay so what is that y axis and this is the x axis this x axis is talking about that what is the thing is how they are moving so that means at this point they were here only so that is the that information is talking about x and y coordinate shows the army's position over the time the width of the line is showing the napoleon napoleon's army size this width here this is the entire width so in advance as well as the retreat also the width is talking about the napoleon's army size only the line chart at the bottom shows the temperature during the retreat so here we are able to draw another okay te okay temperature map for this okay so advance that means moving from that okay so this place to that moscow so there also we can able to draw that but here in this diagram so most of the loss of the soldiers has happened during the retreat only so that's why the temperature why the many people have dead or passed away during the retreat is due to the low temperature due to the low temperature so that also we have mentioned over here. the crossing of the river okay so this river on november 28th so with the temperature minus 20 so there only many people have died so i will show you that one so a little bit maximize it uh, i'll maximize it here so this is the river here what is the thing is 50000 soldiers were there after crossing this river how many soldiers will be there around 28000 people only that means approximately 22000 soldiers has died due to this okay so temperature minus 20 degrees temperatures and while crossing the river okay so 22000 people has passed away so in this that means many people are fell in that okay so river only so this is the thing and on which day november 28 that information has been mentioned over there okay so that means one picture shows much of the information remember that point okay now so we'll have one more thing so we use it to listen the music how we are representing the music that is also another point so if you are seeing any music if you want to visualize any music you are going to be use symbols like this okay so visualization in the audio systems this is the shapes you are going to be specific okay and another way so analysis purpose so i have a four different data set okay so data set a data set b data set c and data set d and each data set have the two columns x and y and x is a x and y this is the this values x and y is talking about the points on the xy coordinate set b set c set d also and at the end i have given the information like that okay standard deviation this much okay so standard deviation in each per each okay so data set we have given the standard linear regression by using that summary of the standard uh, statistics linear regressions okay has been mentioned like this okay so from this what you understand if you want to identify the outlier what is the distribution how it looks like that we are not able to get if i have drawn the data okay if i have drawn the data visually okay like this set a set b set c set d then i can easily identify that where is the outlier okay so this here is this one distribution of the data will be taking place in this data set very clearly over here and this is the only one point which is very far from so we can able to see that one very easily and how the distribution of the set data set b is moving like this 
and how the distribution of the data okay offset ti will be okay set c will be so we can able to we can able to get more information comparatively the previous observations okay the inferences will be more once you draw the okay so plots of the corresponding data so there only the visualization plays major role okay so this is the one important so now here we are going to be see okay the theoretical aspects of the visualization seeing is believing what you are seeing that is going to be believing from that from there only we are going to be get some inferences okay so whatever we are seeing from that we are going to be observe the things those pattern will be stored in the brain and from there we are going to be conclude so seeing is believing seeing is also understanding so if you are seeing that picture so that means we are able to understanding the things now there is a lot of research in the deep learning so they are going to be understand the scene if i given one snap and the under the, in that snap how many dogs are there how these dogs are positioned so that means from that that type of information also is going to be given by the deep learning so that means what is the thing is by seeing the scene or a picture we are able to understand something so that means if there is a one uh, a chair so the uh, let us assume uh, if the person is sitting inside the theater there is a snap so over you that means stop you of the snap uh, snap has been given to you from that you are able to concluding that this person is in the movie theater so that type of information we are able to understand so what is going to do is very simple transformation transforming of data or information into the picture and it engages the primary human sensor okay sensory systems are that is called vision okay so what is going to be do is very simple by seeing the picture the entire information is going to be okay so converted into the picture the entire information from that picture whatever the information achieve that is going with the help of that human sensory so we are going to be at and we are going to be stored into that picture. so that is the thing so that's why this visualization is looks like a tool only it's mainly used for learning and the understanding that's why even in the childhood children also the education system has been changed even you are going to elementary school or normal okay school so lkg or uks the teachers are trying to give the 3d view of the animals 3d view of the alphabets due to that just okay kids are going to be learn the concepts or learn the alphabets in easy okay and they are able to understand they are able to remember that in our olden days what will happen is they used to write and we need to okay so uh, what we can say that we can use it to overwrite that letter okay so a many times so due to that we are storing that entire information into there i will tell you the difference between these two later okay and compact representation of the information is going to be by seeing the picture we are going to be get the compact information about that picture and storing into the binary brain okay so what is the carrier in the information what is that by seeing the picture what we are going to be okay save in the brain some information that information is an a carrier or carrier from the picture to your brain so that is the point so that's why we are going to be call this visualization as a one of the tool and there are different people they have given the definitions okay so for the visualization visualization is the process of exploring transforming okay and representing the data as images to gain insights into the phenomena this is the one of the best okay definition and another one tamra munjar is also has she also has given another definition computer based visualization system providing the visual representation of the data set intended to help people to carry out some task more efficiently so like there are many definitions are there universally so this slide it will take more time i am skipping this one normal so what is this data visualization is going to be talk it is going to be convey the information through the visual representation that is very important point see i will tell you one more point in our uh, how efficiently our okay so sensor system is working is human sensor system is working is very simple while you are traveling if you are seeing that orange color okay light at the traffic junction a traffic signal okay at the junction then so you are trying to so with our in intention your hands is going to be okay so apply the brakes and you are going to be drive slowly so the red color indicating that okay 
you have to be stuck. Those type of information, we are training, we trained our brain in such a way that if any red color appears at the traffic signal, automatically the vehicle is going to be stopped. So who is going to be stopped that vehicle? You only is a driver. So that means, what is the thing is, that information, that means red signal seen to your brain. So information is going to be transferred. So in terms of visual representation, that is the one thing, okay. So, and produces the visual representation of the abstract data to reinforce human co cognition, thus enables the viewers to gain knowledge about the internal structure of the data and causes the relationship in it. Okay, thank you. So now I will tell you one more important problem, the fundamental way to use the data visualization. So what is the thing is, we are going to be use our brain. The fundamental, so that brain is amazing. We are going to be use our brain in the visualization. So how it is going to be do? The brain is going to be recognize many shapes, many shapes, how many patterns you want. Those many patterns is going to be recognized. So even you are able to recognize that, okay, circle, oval, okay, so hexagon, okay, different pattern, different shape, very quickly. So that is the thing. That means by seeing eye and the brain pattern. So these two, that the connection between the eye and the brain is very fast. The connection between the eye and the brain is very, very fast. I will tell you one more example to this. See here, so our brain is able to receive 8.96 megabytes of the data from the eye every second. Whatever you are seeing on the screen, all this screen, that means you are in the one, okay, uh, you are in, okay, uh, in home, and if you are seeing the wall, so uh, the entire information about that wall, how many scratches are there, what color of uh, uh, wall, all the information in terms of megabytes are going to be stored into that. Okay, so it's going to be stored into their brain. The speed of the site is 8.96 MB. That means from that scene to your eye. Okay, if you want to read that information, if you want to make some illusion about that, so that means you have to be read. So in that case, what is the thing is for one person, the average person, so is able to read 120 words per a minute. Okay. So if he's trying to read 120 words, let us assume one word is one MB, uh, not one MB, one word is very one KB, not even one KB, it is very less only. So those many numbers, that means let us say, let us assume one KB. So that means 120 KB only is able to read and show into the brain. But here, what is the thing is, by seeing the picture, you are able to save how much amount of the 8.96 MB of the data for every second, okay? So 120 words per minute. So this is the one important point you have to be honest. That's why we are going to be say that. So re, instead of reading, so just see. That's why people have started saying that. So listen the concepts. Okay, see that uh, what we can say that. That's why uh, we can say simply. So that's why uh, many people are attracted towards the movies because they will uh, make this every scene in the movie in artificial uh, that. Uh, very uh, decorated in beautiful way. So that's why the people attracted towards, okay, watching that movies. So that is one important point, okay. So here let's compare. So we are now, why did reading? So reading, we are not why to read fast, but we are why to visualize fast. So that is one important point, okay. This is the small introduction to, introduction about the visualization, okay. So data visualization. Now we are going to be see table. So why we are using the table for the visualization? What is table and why we are using that? So what is there are many different visualization tools are there, but we are using the table. What are the different visualization? I can able to use R to visualize the content in terms of the graphs. I can use Python to visualize the content or a result in terms of the graphs. I can able to plot. And I can use the click view for visual analytics also. But all these things are required some programming expertise. But Tableau does not expect any programming expertise. It's going to be user friendly in such a way that if you know how to use mouse, then whatever you are expecting, that result is going to be coming to the picture. That's why the table and 
and this tableau has been okay uh, is not open source is a proprietary software that is the one important point you have to be understand so tableau a group of models are the motionless motionless figures representing the scenes from the story or from the history what is the tableau is tableau is mainly used a group of models are motionless figures to represent the scene from a story or a, from a history of the data that is the so simply we can say that tableau is a visualization software tool so it's a, it is going to be provide some graphs those graphs is not only a static interactive graphs also we are going and it is able to give us it is providing support to create the dashboards also okay so and these dashboards are beautifully visualized so that is the thing and it's this software is mainly used for the exploratory data analysis and also okay so communicating the finding this is very important very very important so because there is a one even in the stanford university also there is a one course especially on the exploratory data analysis exploratory data analysis itself so there what is the thing is they want to find the correlations among the variables which are available in the data and uh, they are going to be use some statistics and all that things so in so in order to identify some more insights except the results which has given by the statistics the statistic theorems and all the things so we are going to be use some of the tools okay one of the best tool to visualize our exploratory data analysis for exploratory data analysis is the table but only one problem what is the thing is this is a proprietary software you need to purchase it and there are two possibilities are there what are the two possibilities is very simple and very easy if you are a student you are able to get the table with free of cost for one year after uh, next year you can renew it if you are a professor or a faculty even you are able to get the table with free of cost for one year later you have to be so revise uh, so renew it so this process keep on takes so and earlier while starting the table they are given such type of opportunity they want to increase their community for that sake they started giving to the professors uh, faculties as well as the students even nowadays they started giving for the uh, lab check so that means how many missions you want use for the lab if you are teaching the data visualization course in your <coughs> sorry in your organization they are going to be provide few licenses that can be used to set up a lab especially for the data visualization and you can publish the entire results to the server as well and due to that what will happen the world can view your results as well so that is the one important point okay so and easy to get started with and user friendly so it's you don't need to explore any programming language you can directly start using the table from the uh, after installing that is the one thing capacity for complex creating creating complex application and customizing visualization is supporting so it's supporting to create the complex creating complex and customized visualization also according to the application it supports the quicker drop and drop interfaces drop and down interfaces process for creating the visual reports of massive amount of the data so this is very important so what is the thing is massive amount of the data that means what is the thing is large amount of the data so most probably this is a in memory tool this is a in memory tool then what is the thing is so what uh, how much uh, okay amount of ram size is there that much data you are able to use to process the data okay in the table uh, in the table and to view the graphs so if we have more than that then what is the thing is it's able to connect to the it's providing some flexibility in such a way that it's able to connect some servers in such a way that the large amount of the data can be stored into that server like in order to store large amount of the data we are going to be use that uh, hdfs on top of the hdfs we are going to be have the hive okay from that hive we are going to be fetch the data and we are going to be draw a graphs so that type of feasibility is also given given by the table so that means so we are going to be see those servers details and all the things in detail later okay processing speed much faster because it stores the data in the in memory i already told you that whatever the data you are using to process in the table then what is the thing is the entire data will be there in the rem so due to that the processing of the data is very fast say in memory 
okay why tableau very simple there are a lot of traditional ba tools are there they require complex installation that is the one important and we need to have some programming expertises and we need to wait also they are not providing interactive way in which way you want to draw a graph you have to write a program and then check the results after that if any modification is again you need to okay scratch uh, write the program from the scratch or you can you can modify the existing so to get better results so that type of and installation is also okay complex so that is the one thing and uh, due to that only so many people are trying to use the table only and rapid results to useful information it's going to be produce the results in a useful way okay so and easy to use all okay for all skill levels beginner medium so advanced or excellent migration patch from the excel users previously many people started uh, many people are using the excel for drawing the charts and all the things so if you started using the table now you won't like excel how they are performing so can we use many okay we can able to use we can able to use many different resources okay so that means data sources are many so i can able to get the data from many places many servers even oracle mysql okay so hdfs okay and uh, cloud database services from there also i am able to get the data and i can able to process and get them like rdbms ms sql oracle okay mysql and microsoft access i can able to give and excel sheet i excel, the data which is there in the excel sheet i can able to give and the data which is there in the csv files are there tab oriented files are flat files i am able to give to the table to get the visualizations done and all these visualization can be built with a few clicks mouse clicks so that means if you want to work it on the table better to buy a one mouse also that is very important okay so this table using the one different language that is called viz okay qr viz qr so you don't need to write the code in the viz qr so there is a built in api server there automatically after clicking the okay so so icons it automatically create the visual queries inside that and executes and produce the results in which way you want so that is the thing so tableau uses a visual query language that is called viz qr sql have the limited formatting and visualization capability so that means sql is able to produce the data but it's not able to produce the data in terms of the visual that is the some okay limiting capability viz qr combines the queries or uh, even combining the query also there is some problems you can able to combine the different queries in the viz qr okay so viz qr combines the query analysis and visualization in the single framework that is the okay so one of the advantage over the sql and yellows for the rapid switching from the one visualization to type to the another visualization type so i have draw a bar chart for the data immediately i can go for the stacked data stacked chart as well if so even i can go for that some other kind of line chart also so moving from one chart to another chart can be okay so taking place very quickly so that and built in query analyzer compiles the okay so i told you na so built in query analyzer will be there so we don't need to write the visual queries okay which the queries in the which queries so expression will automatically created in the by using that so built in query analyzer and produce the results and as we did in the allows for the visual query to be used against almost any data source any data source the data source came from the oracle the data source coming from the okay so another mysql okay so ibm db not a matter so it can be working on any kind of the data where it came from that's not a matter okay so there are okay so different kinds of okay tableau uh, tableau uh, different kinds of tableau softwares are there so there are many tool uh, developers tools are there tableau desktop and tableau public developer tableau public and tableau desktop so this tableau public okay we will discuss all these things in detail in the coming slides and sharing tools also there so tableau server and tableau reader and tableau online so we will see all these things one by one first we will see the tableau desktop tableau desktop is very important we can able to get this tableau for 14 days as a free of cost 14 day trial version on our mission now there is one problem over here once you install this will be installed in the microsoft uh, that means windows operating system only sorry windows operating system only okay it's not working in the linux that is the first point and second point is once you install the tableau desktop for 14 days trial version 
after 14 days over it will expire you are not able to access you can able to access few or limited features not all the features that is the one thing so that means uh, after this table desktop so 14 uh, 14 day style version expires it becomes the table uh, uh, table uh, public only it becomes the table public only okay so remember table desktop becomes the table public once 14 days trial version has expired that is that and uh, one more thing is one more important and uh, as a indian uh, many people try to uninstall after 14 days trial version is over and they will uh, install the they will again install the table desktop for another 14 days that type of possibility is not available while installing the table desktop so it will store all the things in the registry so it will not allow you to install the okay so another 14 days trial version okay so that is the big problem and one more thing is if you want to install the trial version again you have to format your machine and then install it then only the registry will go out right so the register key will go out that is the one important and this table desktop is going to be used as a main end user analytical tool and it's going to be provide all the features <coughs> table desktop is going to be provide all the features so you are able to come using the table desktop you are able to communicate the servers you are able to communicate the excel sheet okay csv files flat files and you are able to communicate the other servers like mango uh, mongodb and uh, the databases which are there in the cloud cloud based databases okay no sql databases also we are able to communicate that's that's why table desktop is the power okay and this table desktop have some fun built in functionality so what are the thing is it's providing some of the uh, uh, mechanisms for clustering and forecasting okay so uh, trend lines okay so many things will be there that's some built in analytics will be there Th those built in analytics is the basic algorithms okay Explores on this uh, table desktop is mainly used for explore and visualizing the data and package the visualization for the distribution set. Okay, entire package. Okay, is there table servers? Once you done okay uh, visualization for one of the application, then what will happen? This entire thing is you can commit and you can store into the server. So it allows the user to share the analysis. Okay, using the table server after performing the entire analysis using the table desktop, you can. Okay, so publish into the table server, that is the thing. So publish interactive analysis on the dashboard, take your information and manage the metadata and uh, collaborate with the other analytics as well. So that is the table reader. This allows, allows any user to open and interact with the visualization and dashboards only. Okay, so not development. Okay, so you are able to interact. Okay, use, open and interact only. Interact with the sorting and, okay, limited functionality like sorting and filtering, uh, you are able to do it and like uh, what you are going to do in the echo butter right now those kind of things we are able to do in the table reader only table public table public is similar like a table desktop but it have a limited functionality this table public is free you can okay so ease in your mission ah, okay so long time free hosting services so only it's providing only free hosting services it is not going to be allow all the services which is, we have which we will have in the table desktop so that is the table so that is the thing. okay fine so the stages the stages in the table are three stages we need to import the first stage is we need to import the data either excel or something else whatever you want okay so and after that so you need to analyze the data and clear the data board, dashboards and share the results so that means after give the data to the table what happened is it's if the table is a bi tool business intelligence it has some intelligence in such a way that what are the variables how many variables are there and what are the variable which way okay which category the variable belongs to either it is a okay categorical data or either it is a numerical data based on that it's going to be divide the entire data into the dimensions and the measures okay dimensions and the measures so if it is a categorical data it's going to be provide okay so what type of operations we are able to perform some okay so little bit of operations if it is a numerical data we are able to compute something so we can measure something on top of that so those type of functionality can be given to them. okay so that is the thing and after okay so identifying that so which one is the okay categorical and which one the name we are able to produce the graphs in easy way with it okay so clicks only and after that we can share the result with the help of the okay after uh, share the result by publishing the result into the table servers that is the thing 
So connect. Connect means what? This is the importing the data. For importing the data, we need to connect. So any data source, connect the table to any data source. I'm able to connect the data to the Excel sheet. I'm able to connect the data to the CSV file. I'm able to connect to that. Okay, many different kinds of data sources have. Analyze the data. So analyze the data means I am while, okay, so that means while uh, after getting the data from the different sources, I can do some pre-processing also if you want with the help of the filtering and sorting and aggregation techniques. Very limited are there here. Okay, and after that, share the result using the workbooks. So we are going to be see all these things in detail. So once you open the table, you, you are going to be experience the look like this. This is the so table. Okay, so now what is the thing is very uh, uh, one more thing is so here you are able to see that connect. So this connect is the one which is used to which is used to connect to a data source to get the data into the corresponding workbook or worksheet of the table. So that is the one important point. Here we will have a few different kinds of things are there. So we will see that. So what is the thing is, uh, I will show you that one as well. I'm starting my table. It will take some time. This one left side, we are able to see that, okay, one, two, three different kinds. Okay, what is the thing is to a file, to a file. That means we are able to import the uh, data from a file. That is the thing. And uh, another one is to a server. So that means I can able to use the external data sources or data process, data sources or databases. From there, I'm able to get the data to this worksheet or, okay, table. And another one is saved data. So that means in order to gain some, uh, okay, so uh, in order to uh, get some knowledge, okay, with the help of the, uh, uh, what we can say that uh, some built-in data sources are there. With, we can use those for exploring sake. That is the another point. Okay, so these are the things. Click on more sources, more servers in the second. So what will happen? You will see the lot of things. I'm going to be open that. Okay. So once it starts, it will take some time because I'm opening many. I open many things. Take some. Yeah. So in my mission, uh, it was uh, exp uh, data was expired. So that's why I'm just using the trailer version. Will you able to see my screen? Hello? No, sir. No, sir. Now? Now? Now it's coming. Yes? Yes, it's visible, sir. Now it is visible. Now I'm just using the 14 days trial version only. Trial version. You able to see the screen? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once you open this table, we are able to see like this. Connect table server to a file and to sir to a server and save data sources. Okay, these are the different things will be there. I'm able to connect to the table server from this desktop also to publish my result. So I don't want that one. To a file. So that means I'm able to connect to that Microsoft Excel sheet to get the data. I can able to connect the text file. Okay, so to get the data, JSON file, Microsoft Access, PDF file. Okay, many files also in there. Now, so if you're clicking that to a server, MySQL, from MySQL database, I may MySQL server, I'm able to get that Oracle server, Amazon Red Sheet. So I told you in a cloud-based databases, no SQL databases, other databases. If you're clicking the more, then you are able to see that these many number of servers are there. So from those servers, you are able to get the data. Even you are able to get the data, Actian Matrix. Okay, so you are able to get the Azure, 
okay you are able to get the data okay so maria db you are able to get the data ibm db2 you are able to get the data hotton hotton networks i told you na map reduce okay so hdfs so and you are able to get the data big query okay cloud sql okay so pivot monet mysql okay mongo db connector and you can able to use other kind of data sources with the help of the jdbc and odbc also okay so not only this all these are some of the no sql databases also there okay so this is the thing okay are you able to follow am i fast hello no, sir. okay fine so now this is the one simple thing now here in this situation we are going to be use okay we are going to be use okay built in okay so built in database that is sample superstore click on the sample superstore so what will happen it will load the data it will load the data and after loading the data well so now you did not see the actual so what i can say that you did not see the uh, how the data set is i will tell you one more uh, i will uh, discuss this one in another way also we'll see. go to this table okay see uh, what i am doing is i am clicking this table icon click on this table icon okay our data okay now if you want to view the data click on this fields then you are able to see the entire data loading this is the data this is the data how many approximately 10000 rows are there how many uh, columns are there approximately 21 or 27 columns are there okay that means variables and all the things this is the data category city country region customer name see here this is the okay i will uh, i will discuss this one in different way as well okay close it okay so now go to table and uh, more click on the more we are giving the excel sheet right so once you create the table na so we will have the repository my table so there uh, data sources and then 2020 because i am using the version 2020.3 so there en us cv and here i am able to see that sample superstore.excel so now you are able to see that how the data will be i will show you now see now after selecting the specific excel sheet or csv file so how many so that excel file have okay so many uh, sheets are there okay uh, okay i will show you that one also no problem one minute i will open that excel sheet but in my mission excel sheet it will take more time as uh, my as my table repository and then data sources and 2020 and then it will take some time in my anyway okay so now here what is the thing in the single excel sheet we have many sheets are there order sheet is there people sheet is there return is there okay many excel sheets are there i will show you that one once these up i will show that okay now from here what i'm going to be do is i'm going to be use that i can do some pre processing over here i'm just dropping this order on this table with the mouse that's it okay so excel sheet is ready i will stop sharing this one and then Uh, i have plugged some of the data analytical to tools in this excel sheet so that's why it will take more time to open that
yeah it's ready share excel sheet able to see my screen no sir it's up sir it's up now check it now now yes this is the excel sheet yes see order you are able to see the orders which we showed in the which i showed in the table order this is the one active sheet another one is the people see here where my cursor is moving okay so people if you are clicking the people now these are the peoples okay and returns this is the returns that means in one single excel sheet i have how many three different tables are there getting my point so that is very important point okay i am just closing this i don't require this excel sheet we are just going to do some analysis on it okay i will stop and i will go to table able to see my screen yes sir i am just removing that so now in that excel sheet i had seen the order i have seen the people and as well as i have seen the returns as well these are the three things will be there in the sample super store excel sheet now i am just drawing the dra dragging the order on to the table now i am able to see Are you able to see the entire data? Are you able to see the data? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here it is showing only thousand rows only. Okay, it's showing only thousand rows only. You can able to filter also. You can able to do. You can ascending also. See here directly. It's showing that A B C order ID is an A B C D. Okay, and the orders date directly is taking. It's showing that what? calendar calendar means what calendar means what date date data right in sql we are using the date field right this is the date field this is also date field this is the string this is the string okay this is the order this is the country right? it's showing that globe globe means what it's me this country is mainly talking about the latitude and longitude with that we are able to see the maps as well that is also there and this one is also postal code Okay, I will show you numbers also. Sales. Okay, see here the hash button is showing. Hash button means what? This is a number. Number means numeric data. I can able to do some measurements on this one. Calculation on this one. So that type of thing will be there. Orders. That means I did not do anything. The system is doing that aggregate. The type of intelligence performing some intelligence to identify which kind of data it belongs to. I am not doing anything. Getting my point. So likewise, you can able to drag another sheet people and drop over here also. You can able to perform what type of thing is you can able to perform what you are able to perform outer giants or inner giants like that. Okay, you are able to perform outer giants, inner giants. Okay, those things also you are able to perform. Okay, so it's showing this one people and you can able to put returns also, drag and that's it. Peoples. And it's it's asking the relation in which way you want to do it. Okay, returns also you can drag and drop. So like many things. And here you are able to see two things will be there here. Connection live and extract. Live means what? You we are whatever the operation you are going to be perform on uh, the on the data that live data only. And extract means offline. You are extracting some data and performing some analysis, producing the result. That is offline. So we are giving the live or we can use the extract also whatever. But here our this is the static data na. So live is also nothing. So extra tone it is that. Okay, fine. So now what I'm doing is control jet. I'm giving control jet. And now we have only orders. Okay. Now this is the thing. Now these things. Now after this one data has been connected. Now see here. You are able to see my screen. Am I fast? Yes. Okay. So now click on the sheet one. Okay, rename this one. Rename this one. Okay, so uh, what we can one. Okay, that is the thing. 
now see the magic the magic will be there so okay magic is there what is the magic is very simple i want to see the sales okay i want to see the okay, i will move this one huh. sales sales i'm just dragging or uh, dragging this sales onto the row that's it one line came now i am going to be identify that this is this is the dimensions <clears throat> and this parameters is talking about the numbers now i am going to be take the category customer name products region okay segments how many segments are there okay so now shift date category sub category okay so categories i am taking the categories ah uh, see here category category i am just draw okay dragging over here so that means there are mainly three different categories are there furniture office supplies and technology how many sales has been done this one how many sales has been done office supplies how many sales has been done okay in the technology now so i can drag the sub category and i can drop over here add and sub categories so in this furniture we have a bookcases chairs furni okay furnishings and tables okay in the uh, uh, office suppliers we have many this one paper labels and in the technology we have now this is not looking good i need beautiful way so that means what is the thing is based on the furniture based on the category wise i want to see in color so that means take the category okay drop into the color that's it now you are able to see the different able to see hello furniture yes. one color office supplies one color technology yes, another color okay so now suppose i don't want to see the this one would it control z and i want to see the sub category wise drag and drop in the color you are able to see the colors and the legend came besides this one okay you don't need to are you writing any code nothing got to ban karo na sorry somebody has asked to ban am i boring am i boring mera okay fine so now what is the thing is very simple uh, you can drop okay so like drag and drop okay this is the one thing now so in the slide itself okay i am just following the my slides we are going to be see some results on that we will see that okay so few examples so control z control z control z we are following the slides there i put some examples so i am going to be drag and drop the category onto the row shelf category onto the row shelf row shelf we will get the data like that and the quantity onto the column shelf quantity will be measure this is the quantity this quantity we are going to be drop onto the we are able to get this one this information okay now drag and drop the segment on the row shelf segment on the row shelf so now furniture on the segments consumer corporate home office office okay office supplies if you want to so this is a bar charts so that means side bars if you want to go for this one so vertical bars also you are able to see and if you want to colors also segments you can put into the okay colors so you will able to have the segments for each color so in this way only we are going to do and now just i am just showing control z now what i am going to do is very simple i am going to be see the region and to the column shelf region region is this one and to the column shelf that means in us there are four regions will be there what is that so east west south and central four regions central east south and west four regions will be there in in the four okay so four okay uh, four regions 
so what is the category and uh, what is the segments and uh, and quantity some of the quantity they have so we have mentioned that. and drag and drop the so region and the dimension space dimension shape okay region and the dimension okay so this one is where is the dimension it is we are able to get the detail okay so color pane i can put drag and drop the regions regions onto the color pane ah, you are able to see the so central one color east one color south one color west one color so the legend has been specified over here that is that thing. so that is the one thing to enhance that okay so display by providing the color okay and drag and drop the quantity okay so from the measure plane onto the label mark so i want to see how much so see if uh, a mouse is over that i am able to see that so segment and quantity quantity is 952 quantity is 542 quantity is 333 so quantity is 377 so like that now you can see that uh, what uh, quantity so the quantity measure you can drag okay and drop on the label drag and drop the, the label then you are able to see the quantity at that so this is the one type of and if you want to okay so see only the uh, south so then you can click the region okay so show the filter click on the show the filter then filter will come over here so uh, select all and nothing will be there deselect all nothing will be there suppose i want to see the south only south okay related content will be available over there is it okay to all? Hello? Okay, fine. So this is the one thing. Now I'm just, uh, I will tell you one more. Now I did something process, just drag and drop only, I performed all the things. Okay, now I, uh, what is this information is talking, I don't know. What is the inferences, we don't know. By seeing this graph, we came to know that what is the statistics of the segment in each category among the many, regions in the us that is the thing only we are going to be saying that okay so now so in order to know that information in technical way you just do that one is so we are going to be generate the report file okay print okay so print to pdf click on the print to pdf entire worksheet or active worksheet so active worksheet and then portraited so and then okay so now you are able to see the Okay, so now I am saving this one in on my desktop. Okay, so okay, so okay. Now, what is the thing is I am able to see that PDF. I will, I will. It will take some time because I have opened many. Okay, fine. It is done. Okay, now I will share that PDF. You are able to get the book six dot video. PDF shows this report. Able to see my screen? Able to see my screen? Yes, sir. So here yes, furniture sir. consumer, and here it's showing that sum of quantity for each segment broken down by region versus category. This is the inferences which we are going to be get. If you don't know anything, what you are going to be get from that graph or that plot, still you are able to get some information by generating the PDF. PDF is going to be given that. This view is filtered on the region which keeps the central, east, south, and west. This is the information. Okay, and values are also, you are able to see all that. Is it okay to all? Hello? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Okay, fine. So now we are going to be see another example. Okay. 
This is the one simple example. Likewise, some more example I have given in the my slides. Example two, uh, another example two. I will tell you. So time series data analysis. We are able to do that also. Click on another worksheet. You will get this worksheet. Now, so what is the thing is drag and drop the sales measure onto the row shelf. Drag and drop the sales sales will be here only on the row shelf okay now after that hr on the sales bar hr on the sales bar it is showing that so this amount now what is the thing is uh, drag and drop the order date onto the column shelf order date that is very important we are going to be see the time series order date time series data analysis so that means in this way only so 2000 year of date sales is this much in 2018, so uh, sales is that much. In 2019, sales is that much. And 2020, sales is this much. So this is the information. Now, so you can click on the year. Click on the click on the year. Click on the year. So you will able to see that. Okay, quarters. So that means quarter one year, four quarters will be quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four in 2007. It is like a discrete, right? Click on this. Okay. And you can just go for that continuous. Then this is the continuous. Okay. I will show you this one. Okay. In the later stages. So now here and right on the quarter shelf, check the results. Drag and drop the year from the column shelf. Okay. Color. So mark. So what we are going to be doing is. So this year I'm just dropping into the color. You are able to see the quarters year wise. Okay, and here you are able to give that discrete now, then you are able to see this. Okay, these four colors. Okay, in this quarter. So that means one 2017. So which color? Blue color. This is the okay sales. In 2020, the color is this one. So this is the sales. In quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, the sales will be like this. We are not doing anything, just dragging and dropping. So click on the so quarter cell. It gives the okay month wise also. Click on this one. We are able to see the month wise results also in this quarter one. So January, February, March. So every year. So that increase how the increase and again. So that means in the 2000. Okay, so this one. This one is talking about year. Okay, so 2019. So in 2019, this one and 2020. This line is the 2019. So here sales is more in the Q4. So after that, so it is dramatically reducing. Okay. At the end, so it is dramatically reducing. That type of inference means inference you are able to get it. Okay. So and it displays the sum of the sales only. It displays the sum of the sales only. That is very important. So this is the one important point. Okay. And if you don't want sum of the sales, if you want to see the average sales also. Okay. So then click on that. Okay. So click on this button. Okay. Then what will happen? Quick table calculations. And then what is the thing is? So average year over year growth also it is there. Okay. So that uh, okay. Before that average, I will tell you. So average, average of the sum of the total. This is the average. Okay, average in each year. Okay. So this is the one important point. You have to be understand that. Okay. The average sales also. So and uh, so you can analyze the uh, year over the year growth also some of the sales so there is that is also there if you want you can go for that so that is the thing now uh, calculation i am not talking because we are running out of time this entire course is the six months course i am just briefly giving all the information uh, now what is the thing is i am going to be give the calculation field 
suppose i want to do some measures okay so in this data in this data so i can able to create for that sake i am going to be create a calculation field this calculation field here i am putting that so my name so ramesh okay now i am writing the equation what is the equation is very simple calculation field so very simple there are uh, if condition also i can able to so square root this function is available inside that i am going to be give the data which data sales data i am going to be give the sales data apply okay then it's going to be apply that this ramesh is the square root of the sales so now click on this okay so here remove that remove it so remove it now what is the thing is this is the average sales right sum of sales and uh, this sum of sales i am able to write and then i am just dragging the sum of the ramesh that is squares this is that thing now here four only is there four dot if you are removing this aggregate and you are able to see the how this square root correct only na square root it is parabolic only right so in this way only it's going to be so that you are able to see the many information calculation field there is some calculation field even you are able to draw a what is that uh, dashboard also you are able to do it even you are able to work it on the hey, uh, date table also you are able to work it on that also dates data also you are able to work it there are many things are there so uh, if you want you can go even, even this table can be integrated with the r integrated with the python okay and what is the thing is here in this one so analytics click on the analytics plane so then uh, sorry Uh, today we are mainly concentrating on the iot related thing right so clustering is something different it will take more than 20 minutes ma sorry for that so later you can contact me i will share the code i will through the any desk i can contact you and then i can help you in, in that don't take negative actual thing is pending i will dashboard creation is also there one more dashboard creation is there i will tell you the dashboard creation it will take 10 minutes time after that i will tell you how to connect the data so live data that means iot data means from the different sensors we are able to connect to that web server in that web server you are storing the data from there you are okay connecting the sending the data to the table in the table we are going to be Uh, okay visualize that data it will take more than so 35 minutes so i am just planning to do it earlier okay so one minute i need to hear on to the analytics data okay fine so this is the one simple i will show you one simple example uh for dashboard creation so i will just open one more uh, not one more i have one dashboard ah uh, this one one dashboard is there i have created earlier before this session so i am creating one for the same data set only i am just creating one new worksheet okay i have to be share one will you able to see my screen hello will yes, you able to see my screen ah okay so this is the one simple same data set of i am using i am going to be give the interactive dashboard remember that interactive dashboard so what i am going to be do is very simple sales in the south sales in the south okay fine so some of the sales we will take we will take some of the sales here 
some of the sales 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 some of the sales we have taken order id we'll take uh, order date order date order date where is that order date order date we'll take okay so this is the thing now category we will draw category and the column okay so and uh, sub category is there sub category also we can put on that and uh, here category sub category and the uh, what is that sum of sales in each category in every year okay so this is the one important thing. hello Goto. one minute so then uh, so region wise i told you now so there are four regions are there region here this is the region okay this region i will put left side to the sum of sales now this is the region now drag and drop the sum of the profit sum of the profit with the sum of the profit ah profit 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 we can drop into the color now this color is going to be say that so that means legend is talking about if it is there in okay so this uh, orange color now that is okay negative profit and the blue dark blue is talking about the positive profit so that is the one important point now what we are going to be do is very simple so we are going to be use the filters click on this here show filters it will be coming over here now click on the sub category show filters okay show filters sub category show filters and click on the region so region and show filters so three filters that means all if you are clicking all remove na, nothing is there all now if you are clicking all and you are selecting only south then this entire details is talking about the okay what is that sum of the sales sales in the region which region okay south region of the us with respect to the category and the sub category details okay if you are clicking the tina you are able to see the values each one okay and negative and all the things it's going to be good this is the what we can say that this i am saving this one as a rename okay so sales yet south okay sales yet south ah, otherwise i can write o n e one ah, one okay fine remember that one now i am taking another day okay dashboard oh, sorry another worksheet so there i am going to be draw one more so what is the thing is one minute Slow. Mission is Sorry. okay so now another okay so sheet i am taking that sheet i am renaming with the two that is the thing now what i am going to be take i am going to be take the region so that means double click on that <clears throat> country area region country or region now you are able to see that so yeah, i have internet connection that's why i am able to get the map okay you are getting my point so this is the map okay so this is country right uh, okay enough of country i can able to go for the region ah, region double click on the region you are able to the region okay so this is the region okay now so i got the map okay now what i'm going to be doing is some of the profit so profit what is the profit where is the profit on ah, the profit i'm dropping the profit on the color panel okay so this here is the more profit is there west profit is more and here is the profit is somewhat less central and south is somewhat less and here is the property is in the medium so this is the one simple thing okay now what i'm going to do is country so now country uh, okay fine state 
This is the these are the different states in each sub regions. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be filter the region. So region, you take the region and drop into the filter. Now we will have a four filters will be there. Four filters are there, right? Now I am just planning for the okay only south and apply and okay. Now this is the okay. So information in this south region, these many number of states are there, and in this state, okay, so profit is negative. In this state, profit is negative. And this state profit is positive. That means there are three states where the profit is less. Okay, remember this point. Okay, fine. Now what I'm going to be doing is very simple. Uh, sum of profit, country, and state. Sum of profit, country, and state. The reason is also not okay. Okay, now so now what I'm going to be saying is save this one. Okay, so this is the one thing. Now in order to create the dashboard, don't click on this. This is a what work workbook worksheet. Click on this one. New dashboard. This is a Worksheet. This is a dashboard. Click on the dashboard. Now you are able to see the dashboard looks like this. Now here, what is the thing is? So I given that names of that worksheet as a one and two, right? So now this is the one, right? Now drag that one over here. That worksheet I am just dragging. This is the thing. We are able to get. Okay. And drag the worksheet two on top. Okay. On top also. Okay. So now this is the thing. Okay. Getting my point. So now here, what is the thing is? Click on the here use filters click on the use filters okay so use filters now see here the data will change so if i am using this okay so uh, state is georgia the result will be changed here you are getting interactive dashboard if i am clicking this okay so florida then the order date and the all the results related to that has been changing right now are you able to are you able to observe the things if i am stating that alabama then the results Okay, is sharing. This is in, this is like interactive dashboard. Hello, am I making any sense? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is very simple. Here only you have to be click on this. Okay, so filter, and then we already put the filters in each one. So now click on this filter. This run that it's going to give you that. Okay, result. So this is very important. So many people knows how to create dashboards, but static dashboard only. So if you're clicking this one based on that dashboard, the result has to be, that is interactive dashboard. This day functionality is going to be given by the table like anything. Okay, fine. Is it okay to all? Hello? So can I give yes, five yes, minutes sir. break? After that, I will tell you how to do the analysis of the IoT data using the table. We are going to be use the third party. Another third party, that is entirely different. So I worked out on that one. So even we are running time, I know, but if you are interested, I will tell that one. Yes, sir. I'm interested. Interested? Yes, sir. Okay, that is entirely different. After seeing that one, I also felt very happy. Even this table, you are able to learn from the books, not even books, not in the books. You have to be go through the table and you can just explore it. But uh, Whatever I'm going to be discuss after this five minutes now, that is entirely different. You are not able to get, you, you don't, you do, you will not find any information about that one anywhere. Hello? Is it okay if I'm starting within five, after five minutes? Can I give yes. the break? If I are interested, I can, okay, make that. That will take only 10 to 15 minutes only. That's it, over. You will be... You will be surprising by seeing the result. That is entirely different. In the table only, we are going to be see the all the things.
Am I audible, sir? Please confirm. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So this is to all the participants. Uh, we are going to take a break of two minutes. After that, we'll be continuing the session uh, for fifteen more minutes. So please have patience. Uh, we'll be continuing after two minutes, sir. We can take a break, sir. I have a glass of water on the night. Okay, so uh, can we start, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, if okay. I'm ready, then I can start. Please continue, sir. Ah, okay. One minute, one minute. One minute. I'll open that. I'll start. I'm getting getting ready with my entire content. Then I can easily do that. So one minute. Okay. Hello, am I audible to all? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. frankly speaking, frankly speaking, 
I did learn this one few days back. If you learn this concept, you're also become a master. I learned first, so that's why I'm going to be discussed with you. Not more than that. With our discussion, I am going to be, we are going to be learn some more things as well. IoT data visualization using the table. What is that? IoT data. So IoT data means what? We have many sensors. This sensor is going to be sense the data from the physical environment, stored, uh, okay, produce that entire physical environment results into the sensor, uh, in terms of sensor feed and stored into the servers. And we are going to be do some processing, machine learning algorithms we are applying, deep learning algorithms we are applying on the data. But one small thing is, why don't you apply the visualization on that data to get more insights? That is the point where we are going to be discuss. And there are many different tools are there. So for data visualization, but IoT data visualization, very few tools are there, one or two only. And all these things are very restricted in their domain. So that means the one type of tool is there. It's more, uh, it is mainly used to get the data from the web logs only. One tool is there, which is mainly used to get the data uh, raw sensor feeds only. So like that only is there. But the table is there, which is going to be how uh, connected to the many servers. We had seen uh, in the table, there are many servers are there. Uh, from all these servers, different sources, we are able to get the so data and then we are able to process. But one observation, you have to understand one point over here. Whatever we done in the table so far, uh, just a few example, we used that, what is that Excel sheet? That means CSV file, right? That means whatever the information we are using for visualization in the table is a text structured data only. So, but in IoT, most probably this is unstructured data. That means we need a one middle middle component in such a way that that unstructured data can be converted into the structured data and then send it to the table and then produce the visualization. That is the point. In that perceptive, we are going to be used one different component. That component is called rock set. How many people heard about this one? Rock set. Hello? Even many professors are there, I have thought. Okay, see. Rock set. Rock set is the one. Okay, so component. They are converting that entire data into the, okay, so structured data. Unstructured data, it will take and it process and produce the structured data. So we are going to be see that one is that. Tableau users can visualize the data from the modern sources like Apache Kafka. Uh, that means Amazon, Mong, uh, Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon S3, in the real time without writing a single line of the code for operational monitoring and even in the IoT, we are going to be used the events. Based on the event, it has to be take the decision. That can also be done, okay. But here, what is the thing is, I can able to use the Kafka. By using the Kafka, I'm able to get the data from the different sensors. I'm going to be stored into the Kafka server with the help of the zookeeper. And then I'm going to be process that data directly. So, but that data before going to the table server, I need to format in proper way. For that sake, I'm going to be depend on one soft, one component that is a rock set. That is a rock set. This rock set is designed for highly concurrent, low latency queries so that business teams can access real time data for the real time insight. I'm not discussing more about this rock set, just a brief description only. So we are going to be see one example related to that one. That is very important. Even many people knows that how to use that one, we don't know. Okay, Rockset is a real-time database in the cloud. Real-time database in the cloud. So it's going to be connected to the many different data sources, get the data and make it into one pre-processed way and then, okay, so store into the cloud. So it is built a real-time conversion indexes on the transactional data. That means what it's going to be do is, it's going to be have the indexing indexes on the transactional data that is very important and we can able to write to retrieve the data from the different sources by using the rest api as well okay and we are going to be build this data application that make the intelligent decision making on the real time data as well okay and this rock set automatically index the data where the data is a structured data semi structured data and geospatial structured data time series data whatever it may be it's going to be do indexing on that once we got the indexing on that that is ultimately it is become the structured data then we can send it to the table and get the visualization that this role is going to be played the that is very important that means what it can be used for the iot applications also very 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 few people are using the table to okay perform visual analytics on the iot data using the uh table okay so that is the one important point okay fine next one is 
this uh, rock set is data latency is one second only and performance query performance is 120 times faster than early and uh, 115 uh, percent is okay so uh, uh, that means for every hour time period so all the things it's going i'm not just talking less on this one okay this is the structure of that so applications dashboards and all the things will be over here they are going to be get the data from the data streams data lakes data warehousing data and then rock set so component will be over here it is going to be used the real time indexing seamless integration and the smart schemas to process the data in such a way that it's providing the some indices and now from this data we are going to be use the rest apis through that we are going to be get the data into the okay so dashboard here in to perform the to produce the okay so dashboard here itself we are going to be use the table so that is the one important and this rock set can be used as a back end to power operational dashboards on the real time apis it's going to be have the serverless serverless okay very oh, it's uh, there is uh, what is the thing is no need to provision capacity at the manager servers so no need is the servers and the continuous okay so ingest so it's able to permits to do sync the data and performing some okay so insertion deletion and updation okay in the sources automatically and it's going to be give the smart schemas also provide the full sql support so all the things and uh, some of the security is there it's providing some rest of the api even some of the uh because from the web server i created one iot uh application all the content is stored into the web blocks from these sub blocks how do you are going to i can use the rest apis okay all this conversion indexing only it is going to be used to do that okay so that is the thing and uh which type of data sources is going to be used okay built-in data sources so i can use the amazon s3 amazon kinesis amazon dynamic kafka okay cloud storage amazon Redshift, all this other than this one i can use the okay apis rest apis okay to get the control uh, to get the data from spawning data sources and uh, here after getting the data i can use the table or i can use the radish i can use the graphon is the one visualization tool recently it is become the popular to process the iot data but so this has some okay so drawbacks every uh, visualization tool has its own drawback but here we are only concentrating on the table only so that is the one important point and here you can able to have the okay you are able to write the data in the python uh, api access with the help of the python node js rest api and go language and even in the r also we are able to do so this is the okay overall abstract structure of this one so operational application will be there from there we are getting the data so either data will be amazon okay so dynamo db or kafka or streaming data so and amazon s3 data lake so from this we are able to store all the data into that so rocks uh, rock set so through that we are going to be get the data index and that data we are going to be given to the table to get the dashboard so that is the one important point now here so now the major part here we know table we don't we know how to get uh, how to process the data how to visualize the data but how to connect the table with the okay rock set that is very important how the kafka is connected to the rock set that is also another Sorry, somebody has. Sorry. So even I am getting any audio, I am just watching the PPT. Even I am not getting any audio, I am just. Oh. It's fine. Okay, fine. Thanks. I am just bit, bit fast because we are running out of time. That's it. So here, what is the thing is? So uh, table, we, we know how to uh, visualize the data, but how to integrate the table with the rock set? That is one point. How to communicate or connect the Kafka to the rock set to get the data. So there are many things are there. But here, what is the thing is, I'm going to be give the small information up to this level. One simple example. We are going to be use the built-in built-in data. So some built-in data is available in the rock set. From there, we are going to be see that. So first one is okay. Now this is the major point. We need to have the account in the Kafka, it will take more time. It will, uh, while loading the container, it will take more time. So even hours it will take. And on that hours, we need to take that internet. Uh. So what is the thing is, uh, it will, uh, for uh, hours time, we are going to be, uh, get the events, right? All these events, it will, there, a lot of things will be there. I'm not discussing that one. Okay, Firefox. I have created one account in the, Rock set. A 
able to see my screen hello yes sir ah. yes sir this is the rock set so now what is the thing is very simple i am going to be uh, create okay i am just going to be use the google able to see my screen ah okay fine rock set see very easy and surprising rock rock set rock set click on that rock set you are able to see that so rock set that real time indexing database in the cloud click on this one so you are able to see here login and try free 14 day trial version they are going to be give it to you okay so now so this only i used that performance and all the things we are writing some uh, queries okay so this information analytics this application this is the architecture of that one so this is now i have just logged in i have created an account that will be a uh, span for 14 days trial version i am able to have that one now you are able to see that okay so how it looks like that inside that we don't need any what we can say that components it's a cloud i told you right cloud so that means you can make use of that one okay in the trial version itself they are going to be give us 300 dollars okay you can use that i'm going to be create some uh, high end instances okay to, to execute my queries okay so see here uh, over you i have created check one this is the one instance okay if you are clicking check one na then see here it is going to be show that so it fetches some documents okay around four uh, okay document 44989 documents has been fetched okay so it has been fetched and this entire data in the json format right so this json format we will give it to the table and then we will get okay so one thing i will tell you okay so it was last updated 3 hours ago so this is the one thing likewise okay so over you is there i'm just giving quickly likewise sample one is also there check one is also there this is the one thing now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be catalogs so built in data sources these are the some built in data sources okay these are the built in data sources i am able to write the rest api rocket cli so all the things visualization i can able to have the dish table and grafana and all the things now what i am going to be do is i am going to be create a collections first i need to get the data right collections for that sake create collection able to see my screen create collection visible sir no sir this is not visible see it is not visible i just visible sir ah uh, visible okay sir so now i am going to be use that i am not going to be use any existing component because this component i have to be install it i am going to be use the right api okay or i can write the one api to fetch the all the content i can upload the okay entire api content into the file and that file i can upload ah uh, okay instead of that i am going to be use the sample data set is it okay sample data set they have fetched the data from the s3 okay s3 amazon s3 okay now see here here i am giving the collection name as okay so triple it yeah triple it yeah okay now so now we have a built in data sets how many data sets are three different data sets are there. movies are there movie ratings are there sites are there so now just click the movie ratings now it is going to be get this this is the preview of the data that means this has been where it is has been given specify the path of your s3 object it's going to be what is that thing is it has by using the amazon s3 ship it fetch the data movie rating data from okay web, web web pages and it has stored and it is performed some indexing on the corresponding data that data only we are using over here okay now keep all the documents and now i am going to be create one instance okay to fetch all the content so medium eight cpus eight okay so v cpus and 64 gb memory allocated and how much per per hour okay oh, 1.59 dollars i am giving and just give the create it's going to be fetching so just see here very simple and very easy one part is going to be over now collection setting up of the mission after setting the mission it's going to be fetch the lsi content related to the movie ratings yes zero bytes zero bytes that means did not fetch so far 
okay source this see here monitoring the new items i told you in amazon s3 is used to fetch all the content see this is the path okay from there only the data is fetching so refresh it is fetching monitoring for the new items summary it will fetch one minute internet has to be good then it will fetch very yeah it has fetched see here 44985 so this less than 100 mb okay this much data is there so it has fetched that much data so we are in that which collection we are in the collection what is the collection triple eight a and then it has been fetched like this now you want to see just okay query this collection for click on this query this collection okay now you are able to see that so we are going to be run so what is the thing is uh, describe triple it triple it yeah and follow then execute you are able to see the content over here in the json format here even time okay so these men how many number of rows i told in a 400 44985 right this is the thing this is the information we got okay how many variables are there 1 2 3 4 okay 5 6 7 8 9 okay so 10 11 variables are there and how many rows are there that 11 variables means 11 columns are there 11 columns and each column have 44985 rows are there some null rows and that is the thing okay so here it's showing that only this is the okay now what is the thing is now this data i need to send it to that table how to do it so that is very important that only we are going to be see right now so there is a one there is a one important document is there okay so the document is okay so docs dot log log a uh, table uh. this is the one link able to see that link here it's going to be say this one now see here i need to integrate the table on the rock set for that sake what is the thing is i need to have a one jar i can able to build the jar by using the okay so maven which is there in the github the entire content for creating the jar file is available in the one github by using the maven you can pull into your machine and execute that is the one way otherwise you can use the existing one also click here then it is going to be referred to the one okay so place okay this is the rocket jar okay so this jar we are going to by using the map you are going to be get it okay so example example okay so it's going to be get over here otherwise download the jar file so from maven from maven you can able to download it's going to be reflecting another node see here from maven executed jar file it is there in the maven so it is 0.8.1 according to my system integration it's going to be show that okay so 0.8.1 see here 0.8.1 so now this is the jar file now see here here jar file okay so this jar if you are clicking this jar okay download this jar okay it's going to be downloaded okay now download it will take some time okay so this this jar file what i am going to be do is i am going to be place into the table drivers we are going to be place this one into the table drivers so where is the table driver i'm sorry one password i am going to be save that one in the table driver so one i am sharing the very how to be we have to be put in the table driver only 
application okay fine from here i can share the screen directly you can able to see all the things what i let us assume i downloaded that jar file instead of executing from the maven okay so i downloaded from the jar file i'm going to c drive okay so in windows only okay so drives and then so program files okay and then table is there okay table is there or table so inside the table there is a one option driver so click on the driver there you will find that i downloaded from there so where i downloaded this one from here i downloaded this jar file and i paste it into the here so rocket java so this is the thing. then game is over now integration is over now what we have to do is just to open the one table yeah table i am just opening the table you will be shocked by seeing the things very nice okay this is my console so i showed you that one collection once table starts now then i can do that one because there is a integration part very important part is there i have opened many and that's why it's slow If it is in the high end mission now, then we can able to see all the things in fact of the things. I'm exiting bandwidth is also low, network bandwidth is also low, mobile data I'm using. Two mobiles I'm using. Connecting with. Ah yeah, stable started. Now it's showing that, okay, continue try. Ah, okay. See here, this is very important step you have to be. Now it will show like this. Now I need to connect to the servers, right? Which server? That Rockset server, right? Click on more. And that is not available in this list. So that's why I need to use the other databases. That is JDBC, ODBC. Click on JDBC, ODBC. Now here, what is the thing is, you don't need to do anything. We are using the JDBC, ODBC, right? So now just go to that. Right website, where is the website? Ah, control and the Java. Java docs. Okay, table. So here it's going to be show one thing, one important point. Table. We are using this one only JDBC. And here JDBC rock set slash API RS USW2 rocket.com. So this is the thing. This you have to be copy. Copy. And then place into the URL position. That's it. Now you have to be choose the post this SQL. And here you have to be give that we are using the API, API key. And the password, this is very important. The password is very important. Go to your console. Okay, there you will use, see that API keys. Click on the API keys. Then you are able to see that there is a key. Okay. So just click on the copy. It is copied. Now you can place this one into the password control. V. Now sign in. Then it will connect. See from here, actual thing will start. It will take some time because it's connecting to that here, a cloud and then fetching the data, right? So it will, it will take. It will take 28 seconds or 30 seconds. After you got the data, now you can do whatever the visualization. That is left to you only. Up to that level, I will discuss. 26 seconds.
even sensor data also you are able to get Around one minute is taken. That is slow. Ah, yeah. It has been connected. Okay. So we got it. Right or not? Able to follow? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. So now here he sees. Connection data, which data? JDBC rocket, rock set. That one is connected. Now in that we have a databases. What are the databases? Rock set databases are there. In that schema we need to identify. In that schema we have how many schemas are there? So here we have three. We have only one schema that is common schema. You can get the data from the different data source also. We have only events. How many tables are there? Event table is there. Check one is there. Triple IT. So triple IT. Now you can drag and drop now, it will not allow, it will show you an error. Why? Because this triple IT dot A is containing that, what is that JSON format data? Okay, remember that point. Okay, so triple IT day. Okay, so uh, I written the query. Okay, now it's working fine. No issues. Okay, drag and drop. Otherwise, there is one more possibility there. Update now. You are able to see all the content data. There is another possibility is also there. If the data you are not able to fetch from the three to two over here, now nah, you can create a one new customized custom SQL. Okay, so this is the data. Able to see that you movie ID, rating, and user ID, meta information. Okay, so if you want, if you want, you can able to. If you are not able to pull the data from the triple IT schema, nah, click on the new SQL, new custom SQL. Click, click on the new. Here I am getting, previously I done the work. That's why it's working. But first time if you are doing now, you will not able to get. So then you have to click the new customize. Okay, so click on this. Now you will get like this. Now select star from, okay, so select star from, okay, so what is the thing is? Ah, commons. Okay, so database uh, schema is what? Common, right? So CO, MM, CO, MM, ONS commons. Okay. So that in that we have what is that table? Triple IT A. Triple IT A. That's it. Now okay now. So then what will happen? It will fetch all the content and then place over here. Now see here. This is the same content. Okay. So again we are doing the same thing. That's why it's showing that an error. Okay. This one. Okay. So this one also we can do. Okay, remove the content. This is triple ID again. This is the live. Okay. Now go to the sheet. Now you will got the data. What is the data? Event time, ID, metadata, movie ID, user ID, ratings. Now drag the rating over here. Okay, rating. Okay, dragging. It is taking. If we are performing that Corina earlier, then and uh, which movie have the ratings? Movies. I read the movies rating. Okay, so this is the movie ratings. This is the movies. Okay, so user ID. Okay, now what is the thing is? I'm going to be, these are the movie IDs. Okay, so now movie IDs you can drop into that label. Now labels, uh, okay, movie name control, control set. And uh, what is the thing is? Measure names, user ID, movie ID, metadata ID. Okay, even time. So now you can see that data is also there. I will see one minute. Names. Names also will be there. Movie names also will be there. You are able to see that Titan has the highest rating. Titan movie has the highest rating. You will see that. Okay, fine, leave it. So if you find time now, you can do that. I'm just doing movie rating. 
so now you can use that movie ids into the uh, not movie ids you can use the this is sum of rating right so analysis yeah, segregation if you are taking um, okay i will tell you on another way you can use whatever the thing you want on this data because we got the data in the table in which way you want to do you can do it that is up to you only so this data is aggregation is not required now what is the thing is uh, here some of the squares here right and now i want to do the things in the sorting sorting this is the thing okay this is the sorting and this movie movie id is okay 300 rating is dot 1395 so that means uh, you can click the table you are able to see that this is the highest table. movie id movie id so that means movie id and you have in that movie rating is also there right uh, count is there. okay fine so movie's name is not there id is containing the movie id is the major name oh ho oh, oh. ho major name is the movie name is taking more time lot of data 44980 is there right so that's it this the major name major name okay sir this is the okay i'm not okay this is the one simple thing and you can use the rating and the colors so it is going to be give that so legend 0 to so 1395 so in this way you are able to do likewise i have done another exa another example also this is the same thing only movie id and movie rating so here uh, rank of the rating okay so rank of the rating and then uh, movie id is 3.2 and rank of the rating is 50 so like that only i have done in this one as some to rating movie id so i have performed some examples on this one so like movie id rating and all that you can do it i'm just uh, fast i want to do it so it is difficult likewise we have one more data is there another table another example i have taken uh ah uh, this is the movie okay this here data is what uh, okay so movie movies data set in this movie data set i had taken so i had created you able to see my screen in the same manner only i have created so but not as well so this sheet one how did some visualization on this one so and then top or uh, that means revenue generated top revenue generated uh, how much what is the span of the movies that is available in the movie that this is titanic titanic so the what is the thing is run time is 367.0 this is the thing and it has the highest gross in uh, that revenue generated so there also we have done some uh, so this is another one so like i have done some analysis of all these things there are three different uh, sample data sets are available all these three sample data set i have took and then i did the entire process voting is also given for the dark night as a 12269 that is the highest so this is the thing. okay so do you got how to get the data into the table right once you got now then nothing so whatever the visualization you want you can do it okay so that's that is the thing only this is very important nobody knows i think mostly 
and if you want the uh, information about this one uh, i will share one thing there is a one block uh. Uh, this, one. Uh, this is the block this is the block so you can use that rockset.com slash bad slash block so there you will find lot of okay so uh analytics which has performed through the uh, iot analytics performed through the rock set so there are many things are there even they contacted to that uh, the cars data set also online and then they streamed it using the kafka and all the things okay real time analytics those who are interested they can refer this talk on the other side okay sir. so anything else i want to discuss